What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the channel with me, Mrs. Z1. We are hopping back into some more House Flipper. So last episode, we kind of just got rid of everything in our house. Clean slate. And uh, we have some new jobs to check out. So I think today, we're actually going to check out the Inhabital Bunker. Now, I believe this job is a part of the Apocalypse, Apocalypse DLC that comes free with the game. So, we're going to go ahead and accept that. And I want to check out this. Oh my goodness, it looks so dirty and nasty. The house looks nice. Okay, where's this bunker at? Are we supposed to clean up this? I don't know, but we're going to do it. I don't like weeds. Okay, I don't think it's part of it, but I went ahead and cleaned up all their weeds in their front yard. Let's go ahead and hop in. Welcome. Um, I think they said the bunker was in the backyard. Why does it sound like something's cooking right now? Or maybe it was in the garage. Oh my gosh, there's more weeds back here. I'm gonna have to take care of them. Okay, all the weeds are cleared up now. Now they are. I'm guessing this is the bunker. Oh my gosh. This is kind of scary. I don't know if I want to go in there. Somebody could trap me inside. Okay, let's do it. Lots and lots of trash already that I see. Uh, this is gross. Let's clean all this up. Okay, let's pick up all the trash. Oh, we got cockroaches! Clean up the cockroaches! Nobody wants cockroaches. And you're going to let your mother-in-law live in here? What the heck? Cobwebs. This actually might not be too hard of a job. Okay, what the heck is this room? What the heck? Where does this go? In the garage. I gotcha. Okay, let's go ahead. Close this hatch. I think this room is completely done, so I'm going to go ahead and shut that. What about this room? What is in here? Lots and lots of dirty, nasty stuff. Okay, so we need a toilet, a shower, and a sink in here. Forgot to get these all set up. Uh, looks like everything else is good to go. So let's go ahead and purchase that toilet. We're going to go with this guy right here. And we're just going to go with a white colored one. We'll go ahead and put the toilet right there and start assembling that. Oh my gosh, that was super easy to assemble that. Okay, so we need, still need a shower and a sink. Darn it, I didn't unscrew this. Unscrew. Oh, I had to unscrew over here. And the bottom one. Okay, let's get that shower now. I was wondering why it wouldn't go. There we go. Let's assemble the... the... Okay, we got a shower. I think this is pretty cool to have like a corner one like this because we're 
kind of low on space in here. Um, we need a sink. We're just going to go with this little compact one. Because we don't have a lot of room in here. Okay, sink in everything in here looks to be clean. We did all that we needed to do. Let's see. Okay, so we have a bunch of stuff we need to do in here. It looks like we need to purchase a generator, a kitchen sink, a cabinet with double doors, cabinet with hanging shelf, bunk bed, induction cooktop, simple table, chair, Okay, we have a lot of stuff to do. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is I'm going to... We need to move these out of the way first. I kind of want to place a lot of this stuff over here in this corner tucked away. So I'm just going to move over these shelves as well of, as all the canned goods and stuff like that that's on the ground. And then we will continue on. Okay, so I have everything moved over here. It's not super organized or anything. They're going to have to figure that out by themselves. But we don't have things on the floor or anything anymore. So this will work, I think. So we're going to need to purchase a bunch of stuff. We need a turbine power generator. Let's go ahead and purchase one of those. Holy cow, this is expensive. I'm going to go ahead and place that over here for right now. And it's right next to the gas can. So that will work. Now we need a kitchen cabinet with sink. We're just going to go with white. I mean, I don't feel like you could get very stylish in a bunker. <laughs> okay. And now we need a kitchen cabinet with double doors. Let's buy one of those as well. Okay, lined that up as well as I can. And uh, we need some cabinets with a hanging shelf. I guess we'll just go, you know what? We're gonna put this over here. Maybe she has some food or something, you know, some her, her uh, plates or something she wants to put right there. That looks good. We need a bunk bed, an induction cook top, and a simple table and chairs. Bunk bed. Oh my goodness. This poor, poor mother-in-law. <laughs> okay, we need an induction cook top. Now, this is just going to sit on top of the countertop over here. So not going to take a bunch of space up. And we need a simple table. And two chairs. Okay, I think we are done. Let's go ahead and I'll show you guys around. So we got our bathroom in here. Uh, can we turn on the light? Oh, we can. Okay, then we got our bunk bed, a table, we got our kitchen kind of area, and we have all this extra food, and we have a generator. So, I think we are done with the bunker. Oh, there's another weed. So let's go ahead and complete the job. $12,622.37. Oh my goodness. I will do these kind of jobs all the time because that didn't take us like hardly any time to do that that was so much fun definitely okay so we have over eighty four thousand dollars uh oh we have a jobs i forgot about the jobs we're gonna have to check that out next time but i want to check out this portfolio 
Oh, that is cool. Okay, sold houses, complete jobs and sell houses to access the gallery. Okay, I don't, we haven't sold a house since I think we did all this. Since we bought those DLCs, so that's why that's not in there. Let's see, we got a few more garden uh, jobs that we can do. And a few more regular ones as well. But let's go ahead and browse the houses. So, as I said, we have $84,000. Almost only a garden. <laughs> um, so, our options are a little bit bigger this time. We have a little bit more of a budget. What are you guys thinking we should do? I don't want to spend all of our money, so I would still... Maybe like to stay on the cheaper side, like maybe at max, like around the 60, the early $60,000 range. Um, because I also want to clean up our office. You know what? We're going to start doing some of that. We are going to paint our office. Okay, I think we're going to go with a silver glacier for the outside. I think this color will do us just nicely. Okay, so put your guesses down in the comments right now. Do you think that this one large bucket of paint is going to cover the whole entire outside of the house? I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys are thinking. Okay, so if you guys guessed that this would be enough paint, then you were correct. We used almost the whole entire thing, but we had enough to finish the job. So, next thing I want to do... Is, I want to get a door in here. We need a door. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's already looking better. Look at all the stuff we can do. We can, oh my goodness, we can have a beautiful yard. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. Okay, we need a welcome mat. Let's go ahead and get one of those. We probably should also get a doorbell. There we go, we have a doorbell. Wait, can we use it? Haha, <laughs> it works. Okay, let's go ahead and go inside. Now, what are we going to paint the inside? I don't know why I keep on going back into this menu. But I really need to not do that. Um, Let's pick this up. Because somebody gave me the awesome idea to kind of turn this into our kitchen area right here. And I think that's a, an awesome idea. And I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so we have our kitchen in here. <laughs> I have an oven, I have a countertop, a sink, and then over here we have a small fridge and a microwave. Okay, so over here, you guys also gave me the idea where the kitchen was, we can go ahead and make that our office area. I was gonna buy this, this chair <laughs> to go with this desk and look at how tiny it is. It's like a child's chair. Okay, that's not going to work. Okay, we're getting a radiator put in. Getting our appliances back in. And I was also told there is a... This. A bed and a wall. That looks pretty cool. This is kind of expensive, though, not gonna lie. Okay, that looks good to me. Close it up. Oh, look at that. You can't even tell there's somebody living here. And then, bam, there's our bed. Okay, we're doing good. Okay, in the bathroom, we need a toilet, a shower, and a sink. 
Now our space is very limited as well, so <laughs> we're not going to be buying huge items for this. Installing the sink right now. And that is good to go. Okay, so this... Oh, this is a radiator. You know, we probably should have put the new appliances in after we put... After we, like, painted and stuff like that. But, you know, this is a video game. And we don't have to do that. So we're not going to do that. Um, We need a... Shower. And we're going to go ahead and go with another one of these corner showers. And let's assemble this thing right up. Super, super easy. Okay, now we need a toilet. Let's assemble this bad boy. And we probably need a toilet paper, like, roll holder. That looks good. We're gonna need a door, though. <laughs> definitely going to need a door right there last time you guys didn't like the door that i picked out for the bathroom i think i picked out this one and it has like a little window so we're not going to do that again we are going to choose a different door okay that looks good let's see i think we need to paint and we also need to retile the bathroom. And then we'll probably start working on the outside of the house. Uh, probably should also get some lights in here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put one of these fan lights. That's not centered. I mean... I don't know if it's perfect. But... I mean, it looks good for the most part. Let's see. Probably should put a light switch or something over here as well. But we have a light. We're going to go with this light over here in the kitchen. I just like that light. It just looks so cool. You know what? We're going to go ahead and just kind of like move this in the center of the room. And hopefully that will light up most of the room. Okay, the lights are on over here. Let's turn this light on. Oh, apparently it controls all lights when you flip a light switch. We're probably going to need a light for the restroom as well. You know, people probably would like to see when they use the restroom. Okay, I can't do anything about this, but this is not centered. And for some reason, it's not wanting to let me move this. I apparently can't move these appliances once they're in. Uh, so that's just going to be off center. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know it's going to probably irritate some of you guys. I'm sorry. But that's like the best option we have for the bathroom when it comes to lights. But let's go ahead and get a light switch in here. So we can have the lights on in the bathroom. Oh my goodness, we can finally see everybody. Okay, this was a lot of fun, but that's going to go ahead and end it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for coming out and watching. Next episode, we'll probably finish off the inside of the house. Let me know down in the comments, what color or colors should we paint this main room? And what kind of tiles or stuff should we do in the bathroom? We got a whole bunch of options here. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are thinking. 
And then we will take care of that next episode. And then we'll probably... Maybe we'll buy another house. Let me know which one of these houses do you guys think that we should purchase. I'm thinking we should stay around the 60 range or below. But that's going to go ahead and end it. Thank you guys so much for coming out. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everybody.